Hi, and thanks for joining me again. Um, I'd like to talk more about self-love. And in fact, I've decided that this entire month, which I know typically is dedicated to romantic love, um, I'm going to reclaim it. I'm reclaiming it for self-love. And the reason I'm doing that is that what I've come to know and you may have heard me say before, but I've been in this work now for almost 50 years. And that is, there is a direct correlation between the amount of self-love that you exercise and have and your ability to create a life of happiness and health and well-being. And so I wanted to just take this opportunity first off if you have not yet joined me in self-love and heart shifts which is another facebook group that i have here please do would love to have you there um but also i want to sort of talk a little bit about something that i started to address yesterday and I shared with you an incident where someone who I love very dearly told me that they were disappointed in me and my immediate reaction was I'm not here to live up to your expectations and it was followed up with a statement like I'm not the same person and of course, later on, I, I started to think about that more. Like, what did that really mean? I'm not the same person. The same person as what? That you knew yesterday, that you knew last week, you knew last year or so many years before? Well, of course. I mean, that makes perfect sense, right? We're constantly changing and evolving. And in fact, physically, right? It's very clear we are not the same person that we were last year or the year before. And for myself, so many years before that. But I started to really think about what it was that I was saying in that moment. And here's what I realized. And maybe you can relate to this. I'm not the same person that I was before I became who I am. Let me repeat that. I'm not the same person that I was before I became who I am. I have spent so many years becoming who I am today. And what I want you to know is that these past nearly 20 years have been dedicated to revealing more and more of me as the authentic person that I am. I didn't know who I was. I was so busy living life according to other people's terms, according to other people's expectations and the conditions that they had placed upon me. I was so busy living life, trying to live up to the conditions and expectations that I had placed upon myself. I was so busy living up to all of the conditions and the expectations that had been placed upon me by my family, friends, communities, society, the world. So many conditions placed upon me as I even like flipped through a magazine telling me constantly how I was supposed to look what I was supposed to eat or drink, and of course, what I was supposed to think, and what was acceptable in terms of 
who I was and what wasn't. And so who you see here today is really the culmination of having worked through letting go of so much of that. And it's so interesting that we spend so much time and focus on, on actually like putting those own conditions upon ourselves and of course upon the others around us. And so I'm left to wonder, really, what would happen if we all really just started to be our true selves, started to live from our hearts rather than the conditionings and programs of our head, our egos. We, of course, would need to start to address the fear of stepping outside of that. And fear there is. I think there's this part of us having so much ancient connection to tribalism, right? To the tribes that we needed to live in in order to survive. That the mere thought of being ostracized brings, you know, palpitations um, of being abandoned. But here's a thought I just want to leave you with, and we're going to talk more about this. And that is, what do you think has the most devastating effect upon you? Being abandoned by others or having abandoned yourself? And so I'm just going to leave that with you. Let it marinate. Start to really look inside and answer that question to the best of your ability. Feel it. And perhaps then also start to look at yourself and ask, am I the same person that I was? And how can I begin to be who I am. Very quick message, very important message, and I'm leaving it with you because I love you. And I want you to find your way as I have and to begin to live your life not as the same person I used to be before I became me. And so, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you back here again tomorrow. So much love to you. Bye-bye.